He was once a big name in local politics and state politics, and now he's going to prison. This afternoon, a judge slapped former state delegate and Beach City Councilman Ron Villanueva with two and a half years behind bars, as well as a big bill for crimes against the federal government. Villanueva talked only to 10 on your side's Andy Fox ahead of sentencing. Andy? Tom, it was a family tragedy here at the federal courthouse in Norfolk. This morning, Ron Villanueva showed up with his wife and three of his four children, and then together as a family sat in a courtroom and watched a judge sentence him to two and a half years in prison. Contrary to everything that I, I stand for, and I, you know, I hope to the public forgives me. That's what former delegate Ron Villanueva said after he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to prison. Leon, I could have, uh, you know, corrected a lot of these these mistakes, and uh, um, these are lessons learned. The judge thought Villanueva was a good man, but he gave in to greed, went astray. When she was talking about the, the seven deadly sins, uh, you know, the greed part, well. I don't, for me, I don't think it was greed. I think it was um, just not paying attention, not listening. Federal Judge Rebecca Beach Smith interrupted Villanueva's attorney at one point, reminding him the only point is the former delegates' companies defrauded the federal government, taking $80 million of minority contracts that should have gone to other deserving firms. Former Governor Bob McDonald showed up to support Villanueva. McDonald had to go all the way to the United States Supreme Court to beat his federal prosecutors. Being on your knees and walking through the dark valley of uh, pain and agony is a little bit of uh, the suffering that uh, is part of the human condition. The story is not, not done. Um, you know, we're, we're defined by our maker and not defined by our mistakes. And I think um, this is a grave mistake on my part. And, um, you know, I'm just hopeful that I, you know, I could make amends. Villanueva also has to pay over $500,000 in restitution. The judge is recommending that he go to a prison on the East Coast in North Carolina or Virginia. That is not a definite, but certainly an amazing day right here in federal court in Norfolk. In Norfolk. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. A lot of talk about reconciliation there. Thank you, Andy Fox, live at Federal Court.